For the son of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. Um, experience a new beginning. Yeah, coming up in July, could be towards the beginning or towards the end. But there's some type of new beginning that's trying to happen here. It could be work related, it could be personally, or it could be maybe a new love interest. But um, either way it goes, it's, it's a good new beginning that's trying to happen, happen. And it could be on several levels. So let's get into the reading and let's take a look and see what's going on here. So we've got this Ace of Cups coming up for July. And it's paired with the Knight of Wands. So the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it usually means love. It can indicate um, new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up with the Ace of Cups here. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually at this time. And you'll be feeling really good about life overall. It's a really good time to make friends. The Ace of Cups is with the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands, it's showing it's a great time for travel. If you can manage to do so, you should be feeling really charged up full of energy, ready to get things done, your self-confidence is increasing, and it'll help reach towards any goals. The Knights, keep in mind, they're about messages. So someone could be wanting to reach out to you. Someone wants to talk. Uh, someone has something to say. Uh, the messages, they're positive ones. They could be related to work or career. Or romance. Yeah. So. With the Knight of Wands here. Your projects. They're likely to be more successful than you have. Expected or predicted. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride. So you might want to try to savor it. So. Like I said. Coming up July. Ace of Cups and Knight of Wands. So we got someone that's coming towards you with some messages here. But it looks like because it's a Knight of Wands, um, which is a very fearless, brave energy. Um, this person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very confident type. Um, they're also the in and out type, um, very charming. It could be a player. So maybe this is someone new coming towards you like this. But they want to reach out, talk to you, get to know you, be with you. Um, and it's with this Ace of Cups. This person, they have a deep attraction for you. They're, they're very attracted to you. Um, yeah. The Ace of Cups is about warmth. Uh, there's a lot. There's love in that cup. When you get the cup, Ace of Cups, it's about love. So it could be a new beginning trying to happen. But we need to clarify these two cards more by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So for now, let's talk about how your person sees you, and then we'll come back to those two cards. Um, we need to get some clarity for now, though. So your person, they see you as Page of Swords and the Five, I'm sorry, Six of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for actual person in your life. And if it does represent a person, this person might be younger than you. Um, they could have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. It's also about some type of message coming in. Someone wants to reach out. That's, that's, they have something to say. 
Now in this case, because it's a page and it's a, and it's a sword, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a youth, a student, immaturity. So in this case, this message or this person may not be what you're hoping to hear. Now this page of swords, it tells us that this person, they could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you may need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept maybe constructive criticism from others. So you have a great deal of mental and physical energy. So it's about using it wisely. So this is how they see you. They see you as maybe someone who's younger than, than them. Um, probably immature here with the, with the way the Page of Swords usually is. Um, Page of Swords, yeah, they usually, it usually feels like they, like I said, they step on people's toes. They, they might just, they might stalk your Facebook. Um, constantly keep tabs on you. Um, they do immature things, this Page of Swords. So it brings mild conflict. And so this is how they see you. Yeah, maybe you're just younger than them and you just bring conflict. Could be something like that also. Um, now they also see you like the Six of Pentacles, which is a, about a turn for the better. Could be with regards to money. Um, it's one of the more positive Pentacle cards. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a real positive cycle. Not just a positive day, but a whole positive cycle. It's a card about generosity. It means that you're, you're about to become the beneficiary of something of value. Okay? So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. If you're in a committed relationship, it points to a happy, generous, fair, balanced time for at least a while. So this is also how they see you. They see, they see you, you offer a good relationship. Or they think this is, they see you as um, prosperity. They see you as very giving type. Um, but they see you do bring conflict and you might do things to sh shake up this connection in a kind of immature way. Yeah, but they, they think you're good. They see you as good for them. Now, let's take a look at how you see the person you're dealing with. So, you see them as judgment. And you also see them as a Two of Cups. Now, judgment, it's about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are made too fast. And if you know you're prone to doing such things, this card, it's a sign to slow down. Give things more thought. Give people more chances. It can also be a time about spiritual awakening. So, you see this person as, like I said, they jump to a lot of conclusions really fast. They make um, harsh judgments and decisions. They probably the type that have a hard time forgiving. Like when you make a mistake, oh, they just never let it go. Yeah, so it causes this connection to be at a make or break period, probably quite often. Now, that's one of the ways you see them, but you also see them as the Two of Cups. 
So the Two of Cups is about romantic partnership. That's not its only connotation. It could speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Uh, this card, it says that you're likely to be doing really well, or things are going really well for you. And you'll, you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So you see them as the ideal partner. There's a harmony, a union, a deep connection. It's a romantic love. Uh, you could see them as wanting marriage or they're wanting to propose. But because it's with the judgment card, the connection, it, it's at a make or break. Yeah. Instead of make a break because, um, like I said, this person has a hard time accepting your mistakes, but they might want you to accept or forgive their mistakes, but they have a hard time forgiving when you do something that's, that's, um, that they consider wrong. So they make really fast decisions and uh, they judge you too harsh. But you see them as a, yeah, as this Two of Cups, an ideal partner. There's a union here, it looks like. So let's take a look at why it's happening. So we got the Hierophant and we have the Magician. The Hierophant. It's a very interesting card in the tarot. You could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for some important matters or issues, their empathy and intelligence, it puts them in a position to provide tremendous support so this could be you or it could be your person or someone that's coming towards you they'll be quick-witted well-educated a wise teacher marked by integrity this person is the genuine article they're true blue highly admired individuals they walk the walk talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions so, like I said, this could be you or your person or someone coming towards you like this. Also, just a little side note about the Hierophant. If you're asking about how your current partner is feeling and you get the Hierophant in a reading, just know that they love you very deeply. And it's a love that cannot be broken. Yep. And that's probably why we got the Two of Cups in your reading. Now, it's with the Magician card. The Magician card, it signifies new beginnings, great expectations, and it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in so many other areas of the world. But, you have to try. So, just know that things, or you're not going to have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Now the magician, it's about action. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you will not get. So... You or your person, Capricorn, uh, might have manifested this connection because the magician is about manifestation powers. Yeah, someone manifested you, this connection, or maybe your person did this. So let's recap the reading 
so that we can get the complete picture. Okay, so Capricorn, like I said, your person, they see you as maybe someone who's younger than you, younger than them, and um, there's maybe some, they think you could be immature at times, or they just don't understand how you deal with certain situations. It's probably not like they would handle a situation. But because um, they see you as the Six of Pentacles also, um, they think it's a good relationship with you, even though they don't appreciate some things you do. You feels, it feels like you're stepping on their toes sometimes, and it causes conflict. <laughs> okay, so, but they see you as a good relationship. Yeah. And like I said, you see them as um, they have a hard time forgiving forgiving you when you make a mistake. They uh, hold on to it for dear life. But you see them as the ideal partner. There's a deep love here. There, there could, this could be a union. Yeah, with the Two of Cups there. And um, it looks like... Because we got this darn Knight of Wands here. Now, the Knight of Wands, like I said, it could be an in and out type of energy. And uh, it could be a player here in the mix. So they come and they go. They might play around. Your person might be a player. So. I am picking up because we got two new beginning cards here. I'm picking up that um, well, you might have manifested this connection with your person because you saw them as the ideal partner. But I'm picking up that you might have hoped that they were, that they changed. But it looks like they're still in and out. They still have this player type of energy. So it looks like you coming into July, you could be looking for a new beginning with the Ace of Cups somewhere else or with someone new. Maybe someone you already know, or just maybe someone new is coming along because the Ace of Cups is about some new beginning that's trying to happen. Beautiful new beginning. The Cups is about love and happiness. Yeah. And it looks like because the Hierophant is here, is here you're, you might be searching for something more true. The Hierophant doesn't play games. Um, like I said, they walk the walk, they talk the talk. You don't have to worry about the Hierophant. They're, they're the genuine article. They're the true blue. Um, no games being played with the Hierophant. Not like, they're unlike, they're opposite of the Knight of Wands. And it looks like the Knight of Wands is probably what you're dealing with now. Yeah, so... Like I said, you might have thought it was this this person was the ideal partner. And you it looks like you might have manifested them into your life. Or for them to come back into your life with the magician here. But you realize they haven't changed. So you got the Ace of Cups for some beautiful I'm picking up it's a new a new love that's coming in that's gonna this person's gonna keep it real with you yeah no no games being played played with the hierophant not at all they walk the walk and they talk the talk 